Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is The Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play Don't Fear the Reaper. So, this was a request. I'm always open to requests for new videos to do in, uh, in any style. Um, not that I can play in any style, but I'm always prepared to have a go. Uh, so, this is from Erica Perna, and she said Don't Fear the Reaper was um, a great tune for me to do, and I absolutely agree. Um, it was a hit by the Blue Oyster Cult in 1976, which was the year when I was uh, at university and just starting out with my first rock band. And... Um, I never actually played this tune before, but uh, I've, I've, I've always wanted to, and now I've got an excuse. It's kind of a guilty pleasure, I guess. Uh, if you look at the chords, F, G and A minor are the main chords, and um, any song that's got those three chords uh, repeated is an easy one and an exciting one for the fiddle to play. I'm just going to show you very briefly the two techniques that I'm going to use uh, in this tune, in, in improvising on it. Uh, one is the A minor blue scale. And the second one is the false harmonics, which are achieved by lowering the bow pressure and lowering the left hand pressure. And as you lower that pressure, uh, alter, alter the intensity of the bowing, then the harmonics will go up and down and you can get a whole lot of uh, different amazing effects um, and as you increase the vibrato that also increases the effect. A lot of these ideas are in my book Discovering Rock Violin and that book has now been made into a Music Gurus video series which is either available now or will be very soon indeed so check that out. So I'm going to uh, thrash through Don't Feel the Reaper, I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope you'll check out my book and the video course. See you soon. Mm -hmm. 